Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Today I have a review on a fragrance from the house of Atkinson's. It's a house that I don't hear a lot about. I've seen like a few reviewers talk about it, but I just honestly think um, this house doesn't get the attention it deserves. And I've tried a few of their fragrances already and I've just been really, really impressed by them. So the wine I want to talk about today with you guys is called Pirate's Grand Reserve Eau de, Eau de Parfum. And <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for a long time. It's mostly because of the name, to be honest. Pirate's Grand Reserve sounds awesome. Like completely like, I don't know. It just totally caught my attention. I like pirates. I like the whole genre, everything about pirates. I think they're super cool. And then I looked up the notes and then, then I realized that uh, it is a gourmand fragrance, a boozy gourmand fragrance. So even more so, I was like even more excited to try it. So I've been testing it for the past little while. I'll get this on my skin and let you know what I think about it. There we go. So, okay. Oh, I just love this, you guys. I love this record. Okay. The opening is a very, very boozy, vanilla, chocolatey, whiskey, rum, alcoholic drink. Yes, absolutely. 100% boozy chocolate. I also get a touch of tobacco in there and the, the tobacco smell in here reminds me a lot of the tobacco that you smell in Oddfellows Bouquet, which is also a fragrance from this house. Also a fragrance I don't hear a lot about. I do want to review that sometime, but I'll just say quickly that the Oddfellows Bouquet is a great alternative, I think, to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, if you like that fragrance. so. Boozy, chocolatey, alcoholic, rum, whiskey. There, It's very warm. It's very spicy as well. It kind of reminds me of a spiced, spiked hot chocolate. Heavy, heavy on the booze. Absolutely delicious. Not heavy or cloying at all. It's very, very rich, but it's not very thick. And the opening just totally blew me away, to be honest. I love it. Now, in the mid of this fragrance, the spices come out more on my skin. According to the notes, these spices are cardamom and clary sage. But mostly, I just smell like a beautiful touch of spice, which is more prominent in the mid. Also, a chocolatey, woody smell, a sweet, chocolatey woods. And if you can just picture a plank of wood, maybe the plank that you can imagine it on a pirate ship, you know, when people have to walk the plank. If you can imagine that plank and sprinkle it with some cocoa powder and some spices, that's what the mid smells like to me. It's less boozy than it was in the beginning. It's more like a, a more spicy, woody cocoa. Mm, it's so, so good. <laughs> now in the dry down of this fragrance, Probably my favorite part of this fragrance. It just keeps on getting better and better. And even just from the beginning, I was really, really happy with the opening. In the dry down, everything settles down and everything really softens up on my skin. It turns a little bit powdery, like a chocolate powder, also a little bit milky. And to be honest, on my skin, it reminds me of Guerlain Gourmand Coquin. That's from like their special exclusive line. If you guys like Gourmand Coquin, which I do like, but I find that it doesn't last very long on my skin, unfortunately. If you're looking for an alternative to that or maybe one that lasts longer, this is definitely one to try. It's like a powdery, delicious chocolate on my skin. There's heliotrope in this fragrance as well, so maybe that's why. Uh, that's where the powdery vanilla um, smell is coming from. It's very, very delicate in this stage, very elegant. The vanilla is, in the dry down, that's where the vanilla really shines in this fragrance. And it smells to me just like a very special, fine, expensive French dessert with a dusting of cocoa powder. So 
I, you can probably tell I, I really, really, really love this fragrance. It's calming. It develops really well on my skin. It just gets better and better and better on me. It's definitely unisex and it's like a boozy dessert, slightly earthy, powdery, slightly sweet, but not overly sweet. And then it's just that beautiful chocolate note that you just get throughout the whole fragrance that just really, really does it for me. And as I said, can be compared uh, in the dry down to Gourmand Coquin. And it's cheaper than Gourmand Coquin as well by Guerlain. So that would be my review on Atkinson's Pirates Grand Reserve Eau de Parfum. If you guys have tried it, please let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear it. This fragrance is now on my want list. I think, I, I think I'm gonna <laughs> go for it sometime. Not in any rush, but I really, really love this fragrance and it's just beautiful on my skin. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the review. I'll be back with more soon and stay tuned for more. See you guys. Bye.